this is my um, power inverter connected to my 4 volt DC battery bank. I've got about 300 amps here. Um, deep cycle batteries, lead acid. Uh, connected to my DIY homemade uh, 12 volt DC petrol driven generator. I've used a Briggs and Stratton petrol engine 6IC. Mated it to a Bosch 12 volt 80 amp car alternator. The petrol engine is a bit underpowered for this application since uh, if I'm drawing more than se uh, 75 amps then it will kill the petrol engine. I'm still uh, waiting for Bosch to give me the specifications on a 70% efficient alternator so I can mate it to the correct petrol engine which will most probably be the next one will be a horizontal shaft engine and I'll have to use the correct uh, kilowatts, newton meter torque and RPM for the uh, specific alternator. This is my shunt and fuse setup. Shunt is for the uh, ammeter. At the moment it's drawing about 20 amps. This uh, motor can still run a lot slower. It doesn't have to run at this speed. Um, I've got a um, pulley tensioning setup on the right hand side there. Sliding tensioning setup with a spring and um, yeah, the fuse is there to protect in case of a short circuit. It's a 100 amp fuse. And uh, I've got a 300 or another 100 amp fuse on the battery bank as well. That is my pulley tension system for the alternator. Driven by a V-belt. The um, drive pulley is about two and a half times larger than the alternator pulley. And there's the uh, alternator light and toggle switch on the left hand side. Alternator light is uh, very important uh, for the exciter circuit on the alternator. If anybody has any advice, and those are my uh, two terminal posts. If anybody has any advice on how to set up this thing properly, they yeah, are just turning down the uh, petrol engine since I'm only drawing 20 amps there or 25 amps. Then uh, I can be contacted. My email address will be shown later.